Hello, and welcome to a new minisode of Coaster Kings A through Z. This is Fen, and the letter of the week is N for Nessie Super Roller Coaster. Im Hansa Park gibt es viele Attraktionen, die ein prickelndes Hochgefühl auslösen. Bestes Beispiel ist die atemberaubende Fahrt im Super Roller Coaster Nessie. Hier wird gejubelt und gejauchzt, Haare wehen im Wind und Hände greifen nach den Wolken. So nah scheint der Himmel. Even though that the name of the ride might make you think that we're going to Scotland today, no, for this episode we're going to Germany. Hansa Park in the north of the country probably rings a bell to most people for two incredible Gerslauer coasters, the Schwür des Kernen and Flucht von Novgorod. But the third major coaster of the park has been around for quite a bit longer. About 42 years ago, the then called Hansaland opened the first stationary coaster with a vertical loop in Germany, Nessie Super Roller Coaster. Before we dive into the ride itself, let's talk a little bit about the history of the park. In 1973, Legoland Zürichsdorf opened as second Legoland in the world. It featured a Lego Miniland, like most of those parks, and some smaller rides. After three years, however, the park closed, but it's not entirely clear why. Either way, in 1977, a new theme park opened called Hansaland with some unique rides at the time. It had the first rapids ride in Germany, and the year after, they added the biggest dolphin theater in Europe. They only had one roller coaster, however, Seeschlange, a large Zira Tivoli which no longer operates at the park. It lacked, however, a major thrill ride, and that changed in 1980, when Nessie's Super Roller Coaster was opened. The ride has three trains, with each seven cars. It got built for 5 million German Mark, now 2.56 million Euro at the time. Although it looks similar to the looping style model by Schwarzkopf, Nessie's layout differs as it's longer, slightly higher and slightly faster. The biggest similarity between the two is the classic Schwarzkopf looping. But then it has a more airtime focused layout with a large 550 degree helix before the final drop into a snake mouth indoor final brake run. It feels less intense and thus more family friendly. A coaster with the same layout was built in Parque de la Ciudad, a park in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Aconcagua looked exactly the same without the tunnel, but also without the looping. Instead, it had a piece of straight track, which gave the ride a top speed of 93.2 km per hour, 57.9 miles per hour. Nessie, however, only has a top speed of 79 km per hour, 49.1 miles per hour. Aconcagua closed in 2003 and stood standing but not operating for years. Speaking of speed, by the way, there used to be a speed meter in the Nessie station indicating the max speed of each ride cycle. In 1987, Hansaland continued to entertain guests under a new name, Hansa Park. Still, with only two coasters, including the Seeschlange, that finally closed in 1992. A replacement came under the name of Rasender Roland, a custom Vekoma Junior coaster. The ride itself still operates today, and there's something quite unique about it. The lift hill goes through the looping of Nessie, giving a potential dueling impression. Due to more focus on theming in the last couple of years in Hansa Park, the whole area around Nessie got a big update. A third attraction got added in 2019, Highlander. It's the tallest and fastest gyro drop in Europe, with a drop height of 103 meters, 337.9 feet. Rasender Roland got a name change to Royal Scotsman, and Nessie 
dropped the super roller coaster part of its name. You might have guessed it already. The whole area got a UK theme and is now called Bezauberndes Britannien, which translates to Enchanted Britain. This gave Nessie a much needed makeover as it still had its 80s retro vibe theme. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but given the direction of the park, theming wise, it definitely improved. The station now has a castle look inspired by the Ilian Donnan castle and the ride received fitting music by Immerscore. A total of seven roller coasters can now be found at the park and Nessie might no longer be the most spe spectacular one. It still stands strong in the lineup as a wonderful family thrill ride. Thank you so much for listening. Visit thecoasterkings.com for exclusive park updates and a full range of coaster and park related merchandise. And please make sure to follow and rate Coaster Kings Radio wherever you're listening. For Coaster Kings Radio, I'm Sven Poplier and join us next week for another installment of Coaster Kings A through Z.